Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is day three of the month of mischief. Uh, I know I was said I was going to post three days a week. Um, that is a little ambitious for me, um, considering I have to edit my own videos, I have to uh, do the voiceover, I have to um, do all of that stuff, I don't have anyone to help me. Um, and I live in the middle of nowhere, so it takes uh, like 15 hours for a video to upload, and uh, it was just stressing me out. So today, I've decided, not today, but I've decided that um, I'm only going to do two videos a week, so every Tuesday and Thursday for the rest of the month, I will have videos for you guys. So today, I'm going to do a clown for the third day of the month of mischief. So uh, if you want to see that, keep on watching. Um, if you're not subscribed already, please subscribe. Um, and uh, yeah, let's just get right into this clown makeup. I hope you guys enjoy. All right guys, first I'm starting off with the Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer. Uh, it's the pore minimizing one. I'm just putting that on my nose area. Then I'm going to take the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation in the shade Porcelain. Now I'm going to blend that out with my Oval 7 Artiste brush. I'm taking the foundation again kind of as my concealer and I'm going to blend that out with my EcoTools Beauty Sponge. Now I'm taking the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder in the shade 05 or Fair and I'm going to set my entire face with this powder using the same sponge I used to blend out the foundation. Now I'm taking this uh, BH Cosmetics contour palette, the shade right here, and I'm going to contour my cheeks and warm up my forehead. Also contouring my jawline a little bit. I'm taking that same shade and I'm putting that in the crease of my eye. Now I'm taking this Pirates of the Caribbean Lorac palette, the shade Fortune, as my highlight. I'm going to highlight the high points of my cheeks, uh, the inner corners of my eyes, the high points of my brow bone. Um, the bridge of my nose and my cupid's bow. Now I'm taking this Inglot Gel Liner with this little Tarte eyeliner brush and I'm going to line the top of my eyes. Now I'm taking the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes Mascara on my lower and upper lashes. Uh, I have the mini because I can't decide if I like this mascara or not. I'm giving it a good go. Now I'm taking this Wet n Wild uh, eyeliner brush 
not brush, pencil. <laughs> and I am drawing out where my little, I don't know what these are called. The design for the clown makeup is going. So I'm trying to take this line directly in, from where the center of my pupil is and trying to go straight up and straight down. It's kind of at an angle, but that's okay. It doesn't have to be perfect. Uh, and then I'm drawing lines on either side of my mouth to extend my smile. Now I'm drawing a little circle on my nose, little button nose. Now we're going to take that same gel liner that we used for our eyes and we're going to fill in our nose circle. Now I'm going to try and go over that line I made with the pencil with this gel liner. I actually might recommend using a liquid eyeliner to draw these lines because the gel wasn't as clean of a line as I would have liked it to be. It's also very thick and drying, so maybe go with some body paint. Um, but this is all I had on hand, and I thought it worked pretty well for what it was. Now I'm just filling in my lips with that same gel liner. You could even use a uh, black liquid lipstick, but you just have to make sure that it's eye safe. Now I'm connecting the lines and kind of creating a uh, more clean uh, transition from the smile line to my actual lip. I had a lot of trouble doing this look. My hands were shakier than normal, so I kept uh, my lines weren't as straight as I wanted them to be. So, if you mess up, that's fine. I, end up, I ended up messing up several times and I just made it more of a dirty look, like kind of purposely messy. Um, but you can, my camera moved, I apologize for that. <laughs> um, you can totally make it clean line if your hands are more steady than mine or you can go the messy route like I ended up doing uh, but it's totally up to preference the messy look is a little bit more creepy um, my mom was not very fond of this look once, <laughs> once I was done with it Now I'm creating these little triangle things that clowns tend to have uh, around my eyes. 
this is the part I had trouble with trying to fill it in right under my eye. It kept dragging, so I kind of had to finesse it. This side I went on my right eye, I kind of just took the brush upward instead of trying to pull it down. Um, that was a little bit easier to do. The forehead was the easiest part. Granted, I messed up most on my forehead than I did anywhere else, but it was the easiest to actually fill in. <laughs> like I said before, I kept messing up. My lines weren't as straight as I wanted them to be, so now I'm taking the contour shade we used and I am kind of dirtying up the edges of uh, my my uh what would you call these i don't know what those are called the little designs i made <laughs> i kind of contoured my nose a little bit after i yeah after i uh did around the little nose circle and if you notice, it's kind of dulling the black after, so after I finish um, going around all the lines, I will go in with a black eyeshadow on a more defined eyebrow brush and uh, we'll re-intensify that black. Now I'm taking this Lorac uh, eyeliner pencil and lining my waterline. This is that black eyeshadow I was talking about. This is from the uh, Morphe Dare to Create 39A palette, I believe. Uh, and we're just gonna go over all of our black that we previously laid down. Now I'm taking these Eyelore Luxe Lashes. Uh, I think the style is gilded. I'm not sure if these have a style, uh, but I think that's right. They're just a big fluffy pair of eyelashes. You can use whatever pair you want. Now I'm taking uh, the, sh the brush we used for our crease and I'm just going over the edges of our uh, lines once again just to make it a little bit more dirty looking. <laughs>
Now I'm taking a big fluffy brush and just trying to blend that out, but I left it as is. Uh, and that's about it, you guys. I will be right back. All right, you guys, this is the final look. I hope you like it. Um, it didn't turn out the way I wanted it to. I wanted it to be clean lines and very like pointy and then it just didn't happen. So I made it dirty. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, so I think it turned out okay for what went wrong. So <laughs> I hope you like it. Um, I will have another video for you this week. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up uh, and subscribe to my channel, please. Um, and uh, yeah, happy Halloween and I hope you have a good day wherever you are. Bye guys.